income inequality is on the rise, both in the United States and in Europe. The big thing that is occurring is that we see a rising prominence of superstar firms. And what has happened in large superstar firms is that the income of the firm has gone up so rapidly that once the workers are paid, there is still a tremendous amount of income left for the shareholders. More income goes to a small segment of very wealthy individuals and less income goes to the broader parts of the society. How should we think about superstar firms? Is this a phenomenon that the policymaker government needs to regulate and perhaps needs uh, to contain? And the answer to that question is not easy. Where superstar firms emerge and where markets become more concentrated, we also see a greater growth of productivity and we see greater innovation, for instance, a greater amount of patenting. All of that suggests that many times the superstar firms are coming to their powerful positions precisely because they are innovative and because they are developing attractive products that consumers have a high demand for. What is, however, a problem is that whenever firms have positions of dominance, there is an increasing temptation for those firms to exploit market power at the cost of consumers for instance, by charging excessively high prices. And it is therefore a challenge for policymakers that they should, on the one hand, allow a competition which can actually lead to winners taking a large share of their market. And at the same time, they should make sure that those companies that emerge as winners are not using their newly found dominant position to reduce the functionality and the working of the market.